Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Luke Ness Monster, and today we're going to be doing a comparison video between the two Black Series Captain Rexes. On the left is the 2016 original Captain Rex, number 59 in the Black Series, and on the right is the new 2020 Captain Rex, part of the Bad Batch line. I will be judging these figures between five different categories. Packaging, accuracy to media, accessories, Pain apps and Luke Ness Monster Opinion. If you guys are a regular watcher of the channel, you might know that in my previous comparison videos, I included articulation as part of that. Uh, I did cut that out. I actually swapped that out for pain apps, and that's just because these two figures are the exact same body, so it has the exact same articulation between the two figures. So I uh, didn't really feel it was necessary to include that as a category. Anyway, let's just jump right into the comparison. Real quick though, if you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. I want to thank you guys so much for all the recent support though. It, it means the world to me. We are actually so close to 5k subscribers. We are a little over 50 subs away, which is just absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much for all the recent support. It means the world to me and I do want to give back to you guys. So we're actually doing a giveaway on the channel. Once we hit 5k, I'll be giving away this ARC Trooper X. Go. You do have to be subscribed to the channel to enter, and then once we actually do hit 5k, which will be any day now, uh, I'll release a giveaway video. All you have to do is comment on that giveaway video to enter, and then I'll pick a random comment from that, that video to win. And uh, I am happy to say there is actually international shipping on this giveaway as well, so... Anybody in the world can win it, I did want to make it fair for everybody, so yeah, hit that subscribe button, and on to the comparison. All right, so starting it off with packaging, we are going to go ahead and move these two guys out of the way. These two already do have pretty similar boxes. They both, of course, do have the Black Series logo at the top there. Uh, one big difference, though, is the box shape. This was the original red box from the Black Series. They've used this for a good five, six years, and it's pretty classic. It is, of course, number 59 in the Black Series. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty basic generic box. You can pause and read the bio if you would like. But um, yeah, you know, we saw a ton of these style boxes. Of course, mine is a little scuffed up, a little, uh, you know, weathered as I've had this box for years now. But looking at the Black Series Bad Batch box, this is the newer version in the newer style Galaxy packaging. So it is actually a nice wedge shaped now, which is interesting. But biggest draw, of course is it does have this nice artwork on the side, and it does look incredible. You can also pause and read the bio if you'd like for the back. It is number six in the Bad Batch line, if you were wondering. And yeah, another nice image of that, uh, that artwork there. So this one is tough. I do like the classic red box look, but I think I'm going to have to give the point for packaging to the Bad Batch Rex. I just like this this artwork on the side here. I think it's a lot cleaner and it looks a lot better than uh, this red box. Plus, they used this red box so much in the Black Series that it was nice to get a change, and I do really like this Bad Batch packaging. Accuracy is the next category, and this is a very tough one to include in this, as neither of these figures are super accurate. Taking a look at 2016 Rex first, this figure is pretty accurate overall, but this is a realistic adaptation of an animated character, so it does differ here and there. Uh, the most inaccurate part of this figure is the welding marks, as these are a nice bright bronze color on this figure, and really they were never this color. They're more of a silverish color in the TV show, and they're never a bronze color, so uh, it does make it kind of inaccurate, and that is uh, one big problem with this figure. I think it looks all right as, you know, looking at this figure for five, six years now, it looks pretty normal to me, but to somebody who's new to the Black Series, it might come off as a little strange. They did fix this, however, on the new Bad Batch Rex, giving it a more bluish silver kind of tint, and I do really like that. I think that nice blue color slash silver color kind of looks a whole lot more like welding than that bronze color. And the Bad Batch Rex also does, of course, come with his cloak, which I will throw on later in the video for accessories, but that is another big part with accuracy as he did wear a cloak in Bad Batch, so I'm glad they did decide to include that. The problem with this figure, though, is uh, he doesn't have the Binox in, uh, in Bad Batch. This is something that they kind of just threw in with this figure, I really like that they did, it's just not accurate, and since we are going off accuracy, this one is kind of tough, because I don't really know 
how to rank this. But according to Hasbro, they actually did base this figure off of the concept art for Bad Batch, and in the concept art, he did have the Binox, so I think I'm gonna have to give the accuracy to the Bad Batch version as well, just because, um, you know, it has the proper color welding marks, it has the cloak that he did wear in the show, and plus, the Binox were actually based off of the concept art and not the actual Bad Batch TV show. So technically, it is accurate to the source material of what Star Wars actually gave Hasbro to work off of. So uh, I do like that. And plus, Binox are cool, and it gives you a nice Umbara theme if you want to do that. Now looking at accessories. So both figures do, of course, come with their DC-17 blasters, and both figures do come with their helmets. One big difference, though, is the Bad Batch Captain Rex does come with this cloak. And, you know, it's a pretty cool cloak. Uh, I just don't personally like it. It sits weird on the head where if you pull it up to get the hood to look good, it covers up like half of his face. But if you pull it down, like around the chin, then you can't pull the hood any farther up. And then it's not, then it's kind of like he's not even wearing a hood. And it just doesn't look super good on him. It's really big and bulky. And I just don't think it looks personally very good. Um, I love the idea of the cloak, and I do like that he actually wore it in the show, but the whole soft goods kind of way this came out just doesn't really work. And then plus, if you try to put the helmet on with the soft goods on as well, it always just tends to ride up, and you can see his huge chin right there. That has something to do with the helmet just being really loose, like the, the pressure from the soft goods just pushes it up, and it is what it is. And then that also brings us to the helmets. So these two helmets are very, very similar. Of course, the big difference is the Binox. But another big difference that you can't really see just by looking at it is the whole like material of plastic that this is made of. This is a softer plastic where you can squeeze it. It's not super soft as like it's gonna bend and break, but this is a very tough plastic. You're not gonna be able to like bend this that much. There's a big difference in just how the plastic feels and this feels like a lot higher quality plastic. Obviously this one does have the Binox, but another big difference is of course the rangefinder. This one is, um, I guess nicer as two different colors between the stem and the actual rangefinder. Comes down, looks nice as this one is just an all solid black color and it's definitely lacking in paint apps. And paint apps is a whole nother story, of course, just flipping it back. We will go over paint apps later in uh, this, this video, but you can definitely just tell right there looking at the helmets that this one has so much more detail that I'm going to have to give accessories to the 2016 Captain Rex. I'm going to have to go quality over quantity on this one. Uh, Bad Batch Rex has more accessories, but the 2016 Rex just feels a lot higher quality. Next up is Paint Apps. Paint Apps is very interesting, as this clone Captain Rex is very, very highly detailed for a clone in 2021. Most clones don't have weathering at all. They have maybe some paint chipping, but no weathering, and this Captain Rex does have weathering, and it looks really good, at least compared to some of those other recent clones, but comparing this to old Captain Rex, I'm not so sure. So like I said, the paint apps are very similar. One big difference is the thickness of the arm, like the blue line on the arms. This one's a lot thicker, that one's a lot thinner. Both look great, but the weathering on this one, like all around the arm, this guy has weathering, and it looks great, where this one, there's just not a ton of weathering on the arm, you can see it a little bit on the front of the arm, but the sides, there's not much, literally nothing on the back. So, yeah, flipping around to the front, you can kind of see the same thing. Some places have weathering, and some places don't. They kind of just skipped out on the belt altogether. This belt has no weathering. This one does. Look at the, the pockets on the, like, the by the pauldron of the figure. No paint. That one has silver buttons. Flipping it around to the back, this guy has paint all around the back, the back of the legs the butt, the belt, even the even inside the little holes of the back. This one has zero paint on the back at all. And it looks Obviously really we already took a look at the helmets, but big difference as you can tell, zero paint at all. We have weathering, we have the gray line on the back of the helmet there. This one is so much better when it comes to paint. Even on the holsters, this one has paint on the holsters, this one doesn't. So yeah, it's it's strange, but it is weird. The one thing I'll give this one with paint apps is the little marks on the side of the helmet. This one doesn't have any marks, this one does. So that one is where this one wins. Another thing with like the silver blue lines is it's like polka dotted. 
Like, from far away, it looks fine, but if you actually get up close and look at this, those blue dots are, like, dots, and it looks weird as... When you look at the welding and stuff on this, this actually looks pretty good. So, I don't know what's up with that. I know that is their, like, whole face tech technology with the dots, but it looks super weird when actually painted on. And then taking a look at the faces, the faces are very, very similar, but one big difference is this one has the newer photo technology, which, uh... It's very shiny. It comes off very shiny, very, like he's sweating a ton, and it looks kind of weird. Obviously, this one also has his neck painted, which looks super weird because the flesh tones just don't match. I I don't know what's up with that, but they just don't match. I'm going to have to give paint apps to 2016 Captain Rex. And then last up, Luke Ness Monster Opinion. I think if you guys have watched the channel enough, you know I'm going to have to go with the 2016 Captain Rex for Luke Ness Monster Opinion. Uh, it was the f one of my first Black Series figures, I believe it was the one that really got me into collecting Black Series because I held the figure and I realized how high quality it felt. It felt really amazing. And it's a figure that really got me into collecting. It was also the second ever video on the channel is a Clone Captain Rex review. So this, uh, this figure means a ton to me and I'm going to have to give the point of Luke Ness Monster opinion to 2016 Captain Rex. So if you were keeping track, that means that 2016 Captain Rex actually wins with three points over... Bad Batch Rex is two points. Bad Batch Rex has a ton of pros. I do really like the silver welding over the bronze. And I love the, the I almost call it the rangefinder, the Binox as well. But I just think overall the paint apps on 2016 Rex is what really, really sells this figure. The weathering and it, everything with this figure is just amazing. It goes all the way around and Captain Rex will always be a five out of five, 10 out of 10 figure for me and Bad Batch Rex just does not live up to original Rex in my opinion. So yes, the better Captain Rex is 2016 Rex, but that does not mean that 2021 Rex is bad at all, because 2021 Rex is still amazing. If that is the only one you were able to get, that is still amazing because it is still a really, really good figure. Just comparing it to the old one, it's just, in my opinion, not as good. But anyway, guys, this is actually going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.